The install is going to detail how to install part number 1846, and this will get any late 2015 to 2018 truck with power adjusting mirrors to work properly with tow mirrors. This does include the power folding circuits. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, accessories, and dual function harnesses which get your tow mirrors to dual function as running light and turn signals available on our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Please note, if you have an early 2015 or a 2014, this is not adequate. You would also need an RZY harness. So you should be able to just remove this with your hands. Now just under that vinyl tape you remove, there's a zip tie. You're just going to go ahead and take some side cutters and cut it off. Now located down towards the gray connector, there's a zip tie holding the wires to the gray connector. We're going to go ahead and cut that as well. Now there's two ends of the three pre-terminated wires. There's the side on the left and the side on the right. The side on the left here forward is going to be referred to as female terminals and the side on the right is going to be referred to as male terminals. Now to start off with, you'll run the female terminals through the boot towards the gray connector which plugs into the body. You'll simply run them through the boot, just like so, and then grab them on the other side. Now we need to run the male side down towards the mirror connector, which is right down here. So what we'll do is we need to cut a slit into the rubber boot. The one side will already be slit, you just need to pull back the tape over here. On the other side, you'll just carefully, using a razor blade, cut a slit in it, so that you can run the wires through. Now we're going to run the male pins through this little rubber grommet. To do that, you'll just kind of go one by one, pushing them through, probably grabbing them on the other side with some needle nose pliers. Now after you get the wires to the proper length towards the mirror connector as well as the gray connector, you want to install one of the zip ties onto this joint right down here. You can cut off the excess. Now we're going to be working with the mirror connector on the body harness. To begin, we need to loosen this lock. So you can take a pick and just pry up. If it will not come, you need to take a pick, go in one of these slots that don't have anything and just pry up on that little white tab. If you have any pins in terminals 1 or 2, you need to remove these. Please note, you may not have anything in these terminals and in that case you will use all the wires included in the Boost Auto Parts harness. Now if you did already have a blue wire in terminal 13, you will not use the red wire with blue stripe included in the Boost Auto Parts harness. You will not use the black wire included in the Boost Auto Parts harness. You can just put these off to the side. Now if you do already have pins in terminals 1 or 2, you'll need to remove those. You've already unlocked the white lock. Now to remove those pins, you'll simply grab a pair of needle nose pliers and pull out and the wires will come out. They will be snug. After removing those two terminals, you'll simply cut the metal ends off and tape them up out of the way, ensuring they will never short to anything. Now we're going to be taking the blue wire and putting it into pin one on the mirror connector. If you're looking at it from the back and the white tabs at the bottom, this is going to be the far right in the top row. Now all these pins are going to be inserted with the crimp facing down, so it's going to look like that with the metal tabs like that. So you're going to take it and insert it into pin one. Now you're going to take the white wire and you're going to insert it into pin 2 which is directly next to the blue wire in the top row. Now we're going to be taking the red wire with the blue tracer and putting it into pin 13. This is in the bottom row directly under the blue wire so we're just going to put that in. Now we're going to put the black wire into pin 5 on the mirror side connector. Now we're going to need to splice the ground wires, which are black together. 
To do that, we're going to go back to pin 5, which is where we inserted the new black wire, and directly under it is going to be another ground wire. You're going to take those two black wires, follow them back, and a few inches back, cut them both. Now we'll go ahead and strip all three black wires that we just cut. Now take the two black wires coming out of the mirror connector and you're going to put them together. And we're going to take our butt connector, those are going to go into one end of it. And we'll go ahead and crimp it down. And we'll take the other black wire, the one wire, and then we're just going to put it into the other side and we'll crimp that down. Now I'll just go ahead and apply heat to the shrink wrap buck connector. I'll just go ahead and push down on the white lock and that'll lock the pins into place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide the pink lock backwards just a little bit and put the wires through it so that those are fed through. Now we're going to go ahead and unlock the lock on this gray connector. To do that you're going to get a small flathead screwdriver and just push on this pink tab over here. You'll hear it snap and then it'll be unlocked. And when we go to enter these wires into the gray connector, the crimp on this side right here is going to always face towards the pink connector over here. Now we're going to take the blue wire and put it into pin 11 on the gray connector. All of these pin locations are numbered on the front and back. Be careful not to put them in the wrong location. Now we're going to take the red and blue wire and go to pin 41. We're going to take the white wire and go to pin 9. We need to lock the connector to do that. You're just going to go to the other side and you're just going to push down with your finger. And that tab will just push in and then you'll slide it back down like so. We're going to go ahead and install the new zip tie onto the gray connector. So there are two little divots you're going to go through and then loop. make sure you're looping all the wires through. After installing all the pins, simply tape back any that you do not use, making sure any bare metal is not touching. And then you'll want to add electrical tape, taping the wires to the existing loom, tucking it all nicely. Now this harness is complete, you can go ahead and install it back into the vehicle. This install will be the same for the driver's side as well as the passenger side. All the pins will go into the same location. But do be aware that other pins on the connectors may be in different locations, so you need to look at the physical pin numbers and not go off the wire colors it's next to. Now after installing the part number 1846, if you do have power folding mirrors, the power folding feature will work properly if you put in a power folding switch. The most common part number used by GM is part number 2315472, shown on the left here. The less common one is part number 2348811, shown on the right here. We recommend before doing the install to determine which one you need. To do so, you need to look at the connector geometry, specifically over here, to determine which shape is correct. When all is said and done, your signal on glass should work. Your rear-facing LED should come on with the cargo switch, which is located right down in the center console right here. If you'd like your front light to work as a running light and signal as shown here, or this side light.